Hello friends, welcome back to the development tutorial video. Uh, we were discussing about the advanced views uh, in Odoo. We talked about tree, calendar, search, Gantt, etc. Today uh, we are going to discuss about the graph view. As you know, graph views allows aggregated overview and analysis of your uh, transaction models. And uh, the root elements is graph. Okay, so the graph view uh, have four different uh, display models and uh, you can uh, use the type attribute to select the one uh, these are the models uh, one is bar uh, it will be the default model and uh, line pie and start okay so uh, these are the four different uh, Data, uh, data representation models in that you have uh, in graph view as we uh, as we said graph is the basic element of a graph view we are going to uh, create a graph view for one of our uh, open academy model uh, we have the sessions and we have the attendees we have a due uh, time frame for that session and kind of things we already have. Uh, now we are going to uh, create a stored data uh, that's for the total count of attendees uh, for a session. Then we will show them uh, in graphs based on uh, uh, the courses. Okay, that's what we are going to do today. So uh, what we did is. Uh, under the session class, we added a new field. It's called attendees IDs. It's an integer field, and it's computed uh, using the get and the discount uh, function that is defined here. Okay, and uh, it is uh, stored in the database. So. The graph view performs aggregation on database values. That's why uh, we are using the store is equal to true uh, attribute for this uh, field. That uh, it will not work with the non stored data, uh, data. Okay, Com uh, non stored compute fields or something like that. So uh, the data should be stored in the database, then only uh, the aggregation that uh, the graph view will work. That's why we put store is equal to true. Now uh, we have the, our compute function here. So uh, the things that we have to do in our uh, Python file is done. Now we have to create our view in our XML file. Just like other uh, view files uh, that we have created the Gantt and tree calendar etc it's also a element of ir.ui.view that's why we put the record model ir.ui.view and we put a uh, unique id for this uh, view and uh, provided the name and the model and in the architecture area uh, we put the graph element okay so this is the root element of our view and uh, we given a participation by courses as the string and the field name course ID so here graph view contains graph view must contain fields that is mandatory otherwise uh, it will not uh, system cannot understand uh, uh, on what basis we have to uh, provide uh, we have to show the system has to show the map so here we put the two fields one is course id and uh, field name attendees count so here this one will be taken as row okay and this one will taken as column and uh, how system will understand this will taken as row and this will taken as column that's when the type attribute comes handy okay so if we put the type 
is equal to measure it will taken as column if we didn't put anything it will taken as row okay so the default key will be the row and uh, if you put uh, type is equal to measure it will taken as column i hope you understand uh, then what we have to do is in our action we have to add the graph type in our view mode okay i have two view modes let's remove one tree form calendar and graph so we have uh, added the graph here let's uh, go back to our o2 and upgrade our add-on Open Academy, we have okay, the course zero. Have five sessions, and these have the attendees more than one attendees. Okay, let's check in the sessions. Okay, one, okay, let's do by group. Course, okay so uh, course 0 have five sessions and uh, course 3 have one session and these have different numbers of attendees on the session one of course 3 have four attendees so let's uh, this is our graph view symbol okay view graph when we click on this the system will show a graphical representation of the attendees count based on the data we have the course 0 and we have the 18 and course 3 have the 4 so now uh, here you can see the different modes of representation okay line diagram by diagram etc if you can click here uh, then it will show okay if we add new course or we add more details into any other course let's check and number of seats what's one Session one, division five hours. You can see uh, it's taken automatically from the data that we provide. And uh, uh, in graph view, we have a time range option. Uh, in on other views, you will not have the time range option to select the data uh, in between a specific time range. In graph view, you have that option. And you can compare with the other uh, time ranges also using this option. Okay, so uh, I hope you uh, understand how we can add new graph view. Uh, into our modules uh, for our specific models for our specific needs thank you for watching uh, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet please click the like button if you enjoy the video uh, please keep watching to get more updates and please follow us have a nice day if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business Drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.